What's up guys, Eternal here and today we're playing Karina full burst, full AP and we're playing against Ari. Let's go with Dark Seal and Q first. So the starting item is all about the matchup. In this case I'll be poking with Q more so I took Dark Seal. You can also take Long Sword or in really hard matchups you can go for the Rush Shield. I'm playing with Electrocute. You can also play with Conqueror, but this is full burst, so it makes sense to go Electrocute or Instant Burst. Sudden Impact boosts your E damage. I mean, after casting E, you gain Magic Pen, some Lethality. Really good. Ravenous Hunter for healing. Triumph to heal you after takedown and additional damage. Well, in this matchup it's all about the enemy's mistakes. Well, in this matchup it's all about the enemy's mistakes. Ari has the advantage early because of her range. When poking with Q, if your enemy comes closer you can sometimes just harass while last hitting. So, in this matchup to avoid some poke I recommend farming ranged minions with Q. Or if you can get closer without taking damage in return, then you can go for a basic attack like this. She's going to hit level 2 before me, probably. Okay. And I have E. Now it's all about the dagger, so if your enemy comes closer, you wanna E. And try to E the enemy and then pick up the dagger. That way you maximize the damage, because your enemy will take the damage from both your E and the passive, which is your dagger. I don't cast E here because Ari has the charm, so I would take a lot of damage and also from the minion wave. Don't go in if there are too many minions unless you're really ahead. I tried to last it with E, you can do it sometimes. What happens? So, nothing crazy, just farming for now. It's okay, I will have my chances later in the game. Sometimes I'm playing more aggressively against Ari, like I E and try to predict the charm, like trying to avoid, like here, was possible. Maybe she will get closer. I think she took the damage and I can go in. And you know what? Yeah. If not the flash, I would finish her off. You wanna max Q first? I wonder, will she back or will she stay? Okay, she stays, so this gives me the chance to kill her actually. I have my flash, I have my ignite, and I'm waiting for electrocute to reload. Once it's renewed, I know that I'm able to burst her down. Though, was it a bait? So, oh. I need to ward this side because of this. She healed. Yeah, he is there. Need to see if he's coming this way or not. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I was paying attention. We have this side ward and this side, so he's going back. He had the plan, actually. He might still be there. See? I can this guy. Oh! Oh. I will die probably. Oh yeah, he's too mobile. So I wanted to give a point in E to make a difference, but actually slight difference. I didn't have to. So I tried. I like to go Nashors to first no matter what mythic item I build. It's just so good it has the synergy with your own hit effect on the passive. And well, it seems to be hard because there's Trindamir being fed already and there's Fizz. I really dislike playing against Fizz as Karina. He's really annoying. At least he's not on the mid lane. In most matchups on the lane you lose. 
You can only abuse the enemy's mistakes, make use of them. It's especially harder if you are getting camped. And you should be roaming with Katarina, so even if you do rebat on the lane, you can get some kills in short amount of time. So it's always possible. It was a bit easier to get fed with TP Ignite, but teleport gets changed, so makes no sense now. I don't like it at least. And as for the combo with Karina, before the ult it's EWQ when you're chasing and sometimes on the lane you can just Q EW and that's when your enemy stays in the range of your passive after casting W. W also grants you movement speed so you can help yourself in avoiding enemy abilities so like when I go in against Ari. I help myself in avoiding the charm with the movement speed and also I'm giving myself the chance to re-engage instantly. Oh. I don't like that Fizz is around, like I feel like, okay, he's on the bot lane now. We might try to kill him though, he's really safe, there's the plant, he'll probably just cap close. Okay. Nice. Good. Okay, Drake. Wanna do the Drake? We can. So eat the target first and then pick up the dagger. Because sometimes you can just accidentally E onto the dagger and you miss that small part of damage which, which can actually make a difference in some scenarios, so make sure. Nice try. Is that fear I smell? I've made my choice. I go in aggressively, I think. Okay, dodge this. Yeah, she survived. I was hoping that maybe I can finish her off before she ults, but nah. Two chances and she's he's actually there. Once more. I should have just baited her ult like without ulting myself. I would have this ult too. Whoops. Careful about Fizz. Fizz makes it harder to roam a bit because if I encounter him in the middle, like on the river, you can ult me, and it's really hard to get away. Yeah, he's really focused on the mid lane, even though he's not effective because I'm aware of it. Okay, we can actually kill Trinda because we can, okay. So let's do this. Okay. I guess it makes sense to just instantly play the rift on the top lane. Not a single red plating used yet. And he has no TP. So I just ping bot lane to be careful. And look. Some amount of gold. Okay, I won't take this CS. Lilia needs to make a comeback. Can you? Without mercy. Okay, if this is bot. I think Ari has no ult still. Or maybe she's really close towards it. I play Ari, so I think she has an ult. Okay, she didn't. 
Look at that Zeri, okay. I got spotted. If Fizz is there, I won't be able to kill Lux. She biting or really notice me? Good job. And with your ult, there's the main combo, which is E, W, Q, ult, E. And with your Q casted like this, you always appear behind your enemy. Like when your enemy is escaping with that dagger, it lands behind the target and you're always able to chase down. So Nashor's to first. Okay, she has out this time. See? I make this sidestep. Okay, I let her dash. And it's okay because she might stay still. Oh. Oh, is he actually able to finish this now? Okay. Just keep in mind, against champions like Fizz, don't always rely on Q because his E can get rid of it. And if you lose vision with Q, Karina stops casting it, so it can be annoying sometimes. And she has no ult. This is risky a bit because I have no vision. A good hit actually. Oh wait. I was confused that Trindamir is actually in this place. But I've got fist, so it's a double is completely okay. And you know, my favorite item currently for Karina is Rocket Belt, because it also grants you a dash, but mainly you get this magic pen. So let's go like this. See, I was waiting for her to get in. Okay, this time I got hit. That's the first time where I didn't manage to avoid her charm. I think I accidentally cancelled my ult. But I was predicting them so of my ult anyway. I bought. Yeah, this is why you always press W before you ult because you can accidentally cancel it so you can learn from that. Like, I'm actually confused that I have made such a mistake. Lilia flashed. I was just waiting for him to end his effect. Because, you know, it was pointless to waste abilities on Trinda with his ult. Bot lane is actually pushing hard. No going back. 
I need boots soon. Like it's there, she can make a comeback. But I can see the chance. If they stay, I can get some kills, though there's Ari with the charm. Okay. I salt. I actually predicted that I would encounter them here. Usually I Q and I return for the dagger, but this time it was too far away. And that's it, I guess. Nothing more. Yeah. Why? I Usually I don't recommend to go in first as Karina, unless you're really fat. And you can just be on the dagger that way. Mostly no. Okay. It takes the right time. Oh, he didn't press out, or he didn't have it? I think he had. Have vision, right? Yeah, if they're approaching me like this. If enemies chase you, you can W and you can return to that dagger. Okay. Nice. I could flash towards Harry. Could stay, I guess. Wait. Did he fail to ult once more? Okay, this and this, and here are your core items. You can choose to finish Magi at this point, or you can go for something else. Early. Ready for trouble. Yeah. We have ocean, okay. I'm gonna heal in that case. If I could do red buff, it would be really fast, so let's go for the red buff, maybe I can get it. Thank you. Red buff heals. A lot, and I believe it heals more if you're a melee champion, like Karina. Did he just... Did he just flash? I ignited him in case, but didn't have to, but just in case. Didn't calculate that Jinx would have the range. You can close the gap like this, actually, and provide yourself the movement speed. Oh. Ah, he is safe. It's all about not falling behind early as Karina. Now it's pretty fun. You have the core items. 
The outplay potential is insane. Magic pen is always good. It's also good against squishies because it's flat magic pen, so standard amount of magic resist. See, I use rocket belts to close the gap and then I was able to just E. So I believe this is the best mythic item for Karina, as you can see. So you're always getting a reset for your abilities, like how it works. Your ability cooldowns are reduced by 15 seconds if Karina damaged the champion in the last 3 seconds. So yeah. Oh! Nice. That was really nice. They're coming at us, right? No, not yet. Okay, just poking them a bit. Yeah, I had to stop. I was focused on Lux with her Q. Bye. Nice. Where is Zeri? If I have such amount of gold, I'm usually going for a dead cap. Other than that, you can go for something like an hourglass or Lich Bane. Lich Bane is good as well. If you go in, in the right side, you don't really need an hourglass. Okay, <laughs> I flashed with fee so fast. Could have done more earlier a bit, so I wouldn't have to flash, I guess. Okay, Trinda Mir. Actually, wait, it's flash. I mean, flash out, sorry. You know, it was a good idea, but I didn't know that Trinda had his ult still. I believe that he used it. So it was risky. Because if I managed to, I would finish them all off. Because I would heal on Trinda and outplay Ari. So it was a mistake because I went in despite not knowing the fact, surely if he has the ult or not. Shadow Flame is also good, but let's just go for the death cap now. Not every game is like this where you're able to finish that cap that fast with other items, so it's an exception. Banshees is also good, it could be good into that or QSS. This is QSS, like it removes the crowd control effect. Friends close and enemies guessing. 
Oh, I was trying to avoid this kill. But actually, bad timing this time. We can't afford making this mistake of letting him push, so... No going back. I could actually go for stopwatch now, maybe it can make a difference. Let's continue chasing him. Oh, okay, Baron. Baron time. Don't break this, okay, you did. I would not break this because it would be an element of surprise for enemies that we are not doing. Baron. But now they realize it's okay, I guess. We can still make it in time. Okay. Insane focus. So yeah, as you can see, a narrow glass is the stopwatch, so it's the same thing, same effect. Not that effective. Almost saved me, but actually not. Would be better if I had QSS because I would just cancel the CC and do my combo. So even Banshees feels better. And at this point I just go for Leech Brain, who cares. Full burst after all. Yeah, keep in mind that you're really squishy with this build, but it's okay if allies start the team fight. you can just clear everything. In this case there's Shrind that we vote, so making things harder. Going from this side and should be enough. She's dead as well, I'm pretty sure. Flash. See? Not even a note. Oh, she's dead already, right? No? So I have to fix it. I left the dagger so it was easier. She didn't expect that. Oh. It's sometimes even easier into different matchups. Oh, outplayed. Okay, there's Lux, she will try to ult me. She has Glacial. Oh, see, she tried. Oh, okay. And that's it, guys. I hope that you learned something about Karina. Thank you guys for watching. You can like and subscribe to support me and you can check out my other gameplays with Karina and other champions. You can also check out my stream. See you next time.